can you design a beautiful gardening website? Because this right here is AI art. It is a web design created by artificial intelligence and it is amazing. Look at this design for a bonsai tree. This is one of the best designed websites I've ever seen. In this video, I wanna check out some of these beautiful websites created by AI art and how their creativity is. Then I wanna see if I can pull one out and actually design it inside of a website because maybe this will change how we build websites in the future. So let's begin and check out this bonsai example. Everything from the color choices to how well balanced it is between the image and the text and even these elements which are in the foreground and the background with the leaves just make it look like it stands out. It's almost a design aesthetic onto itself. Of course, if we look closely, we can recognize these texts. Well, they don't really mean anything, but we have all the common elements from this AI where we've got a logo, a menu, a hero text, a tagline, buttons, what looks like a bit of a slider. This is where we're at now, right now, with AI art creating web designs that are just kind of mind-blowing. I jumped onto Midjourney, which is where I'm generating all of these, and I generated quite a few different examples. This next one here is for a mobile application. I actually typed in the prompt, a beautiful mobile application for fitness with UI and UX. This is the response I got back. Here are four different images for four different designs. And if we look closely, if I zoom in a little bit here, you'll see that they actually show both a dashboard as well as a tracking section with statistics and graphics. We have nice display pictures. And while the text doesn't seem to actually say anything, this can give you a lot of inspiration into building your own application if that's what you're looking for. Another common thing in web design is admin dashboards. I got these generated when I typed in website admin dashboard, beautiful UI UX. These are four dashboards, which actually kind of look out of this world, especially this one on the top right. It looks like something out of Iron Man. Now, what you can do with Midjourney is you can select one that you like and you can upscale it. So I upscaled this one over here and this seems like it has a very structured grid that seems to be maybe a eight or oh, maybe a 12 group grid. We've got a three by four by four by four. Um, but look at this color design. The colors that are used here basically adhere to color theory. We've got good contrast ratios for everything. While these numbers are like 377.43.4% doesn't really make any sense. This I think can be used more as inspiration to create your own admin dashboard based from these designs. And I've gone ahead and created quite a few here. Another one that I came up with was a generation for a motorbike landing page, a splash page with a flag behind it. Four generations came up and all of them looked really cool. I like this white theme where we've got a bit of a header as well as a call to action button. And we've got this US flag or English flag in the background. But I personally really like this one on the bottom right. So I actually asked it to create four more variations and then from those four variations to upscale the one on the bottom right, which I liked a lot. And it's almost as if he's flying through this flag that's exploding at super speed. I kind of want to use this to create my own website design and I think I'll do just that. If you want to see more of these, you can head over to midjourney.com. I actually generated quite a, f quite a few, such as this one here for an AI app which I guess it assumed it was an app about AI. This guy at the top right looked really cute and I actually generated this to its own design. And it almost looks like an app design inside of a phone that looks like an iPhone, but it also seems like a 3D perspective. It just really looked cool. You can head over to the community feed and you can type in search results like website and it'll come up with generations other people have like this one here for a modern website landing page by a UX designer. And it looks like it's almost been whiteboarded, which is cool. There's one here for a person driving a motorbike, which is another cool one. There's one here for an AI that's been upscaled. And even this Japanese one of a samurai, all of these are very in theme with what they're representing. Like the samurai one has very samurai-like photos, or well, I suppose drawing and art with the right colors. Now, this probably has to be customized a bit. You can probably pull out the images. And while you can't use the text because it kind of looks nonsense, you have all the placeholders where you could create that content yourself. So let me go back here to my homepage and let me then head over to this splash of this motorcycle. 
I'm going to copy this image and then I'm going to pull this up in Photoshop. For Photoshop, I'm going to create, I suppose, a new uh, piece of content here. Uh, I might actually do it as a 1080p image. Then I'm gonna use Adobe's content fill to fill out the spacing. This should fill out the rest of this page, which it seems to have done quite well. Uh, then I'm just gonna head over and magic brush these last bits so that it doesn't feel like there's a line in the way. Since this is boring Photoshop stuff, I'm going to also fast forward this section while I'm fixing it all up or getting it ready for a splash page. And that looks really good. And then I'm just gonna save this as a JPEG. I'm going to build this website without using any code. I'm gonna use Editor X. I'm gonna select it to add an image and I'm gonna just drag in this image over here, select it to change it. And then I'm going to upload this image that we just created as a splash image. This can be the start of this website design. And we could even follow the same formula that we saw the AI generate with the hero section and everything the same way. I'm gonna expand this out to utilize the whole room here. And I'm gonna remove the logo and the header. I want this section to be a little bit larger, so I'm just gonna drag it down a little bit. And then after that, I want to also change the focal point for this image to be more focused on the left-hand side with the driver to be more on the right-hand side if possible. Now with that done, we might as well start adding in the content itself. So here on the left-hand side, I'm gonna put in the title, very similar to how we had the design over here, a white text splash. And we can say, learn to race. Sure, that can be fine. We'll do a white color, and I might even make it a little bit larger here as a heading one. So that looks pretty good. Um, it's not white, so let me just update that to be white again. And I probably want it to be a little bit smaller, so maybe 64 pixels would be just about right. Then after that, if we go back to the design, we had a bit of a tagline there. So I could add that in underneath. I'll select add, I'll do paragraph. Uh, let's shrink this size down a little bit. I'm going to set this again to be the white color, but I might add some opacity to it. And for the opacity, I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, hmm, I guess I could select a variant of the color because it is kind of like a yellow color. So if I select a slightly orange yellow color, that might look better. Oh yes, that definitely looks better. Uh, and I might remove it so it's just two lines of text. Finally, I think there was a button somewhere. There wasn't a button, but that's okay. I'll add a call to action button here. And I think I might just make this button. Yeah, black looks good. Now, I think that's the design already more or less created. Hopefully this gives you some insight into how AI art and web design is changing the future of how websites will be designed as well as developed. Together with no coding tools, we can create websites that look unique and interesting in more and more ways. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have feedback or if you want to see more like it, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.